What's up guys, Ryan here from Mud Gunner. Today I have a pretty cool video to show you. Um, I got a Timney DH3 trigger. This is their Daniel Horner three gun trigger and it is supposed to be insanely light and I'm pretty excited to use it. Um, they did send this to me, uh, no money exchange, just free product to do a review on and yeah, just wanted you guys to know. And it comes in a pretty nice package from Timney. So yeah, let's get into it. So again, this is the Daniel Horner three gun trigger. The first, it's a two stage trigger. So the first stage is about half a pound and the second stage is adjustable from one to two and a half pounds. So that is insanely light. Again, it comes in this really nice package. Um, funny thing, there's like an Easter egg that I noticed on this box. If you look through here, it says making Hooters great since 1946. It's kind of funny. It says making shooters great, but when you close it, it says making hooters great. I thought that was kind of funny. Timony, if you want to just move that to the right, you know, it'll, it'll show in there, but I think that's funny regardless. But look at how nice that trigger is. So this is a drop-in trigger. You're supposed to be able to use your standard um, trigger pins that come in your gun, and I plan on using mine. And that is just a sexy trigger. And I really like flat triggers. You can see it's got Daniel Horner's name on there. And that is, that is very nice looking. The looks aren't everything. We gotta see how well it performs today. So what I'm gonna do is shoot the gun that I brought with the stock trigger, and then we'll compare it once we put this trigger in. All right, the gun I brought out to put the trigger in is my Daniel Defense V11. Uh, internally, this is a mostly stock gun other than my charging handle. So it's a regular Daniel Defense. Um, I really like Daniel Defense rifles. I have a few of them now and I figured it was time to put a trigger in this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot the gun um, a few rounds with just the stock trigger. I'm gonna do double taps and some triple taps and I'm gonna use my shot timer and I'm gonna be shooting at steel and we're gonna test how fast it takes me to get those shots off as fast as I can and then my accuracy, which I'm gonna be missing if I'm pulling it as fast as I can. And then we're gonna drop the Daniel Horn trigger in there and see how much of an upgrade it is as far as speed goes and then if it helps me be a little bit more accurate we're running just a muzzle, uh, standard in defense muzzle device on there. If I had a muzzle brake, it would probably make it a little bit flatter shooting, but I think the trigger is still gonna be a big upgrade. So let's get started with this. All right, so I'm gonna be running this from uh, my shot timer and I'm already, I'm already gonna have the gun up because we're testing how fast I can pull the trigger and then my accuracy based off of that, not how fast I can pull the gun up. And I'm gonna do two two shot groups and then two three shot groups and. Uh, We'll see how I do on that. And I'm not gonna be showing you guys the time because it's just gonna take too much work. You're just gonna have to trust my word on it. So, all right, here we go. No. All right. Here we go. All right, so that was two hits. Uh, 0.69 seconds. The, the split was 0.27. So we're gonna do that one more time. So two hits, that was 0.47, it was a 0.26 split. We're gonna do a three shot group. All right, one miss, 0.78 seconds. It was 0.24 split and then 0.25 split. So honestly, that's not bad, but I already have the gun pulled up and it's about a six or seven pound trigger. All right, go again. So 0.66, it's saying 0.13 split and then 0.22 split. So oh, there's only one round in here, so. So those times aren't bad at all. Uh, granted, like I said, the gun's already up, which is like, easy um but yeah a mil spec trigger there's nothing wrong with it it is tried and true military uses mil spec triggers law enforcement uses mil spec triggers there's nothing wrong with it it's actually a good trigger and training i think makes it better but if you can make it two pounds why not um yeah i'm ready to put the trigger in and we'll see how well that does so i have my buddy nate here he's putting the trigger in, or he's taking the trigger out of my uh end of the fence right now but i just want to show you guys this again so um, if you guys don't know who Daniel Horner is, I watched Timney's video on him, and he's a legit badass. He's sponsored by Timney. He's sponsored by SIG. He has a SIG uh, a DH3 rifle with the Timney trigger in it, and it is sick, and I definitely wouldn't mind owning one of those. 
But again, I'm not really a three gun shooter. I just enjoy shooting, but I'm not opposed to doing competitions. But yeah, that DH3 rifle that he has looks sick. So yeah, check out Timony's YouTube channel and their video on him and this trigger because it was very cool to see. But yeah, and then we got to thank Nate here for helping me put the trigger in. I've installed triggers before, but he's a little bit better at it. But their trigger is very easy to put in um, because it's dropping. You just use the pins that come in your AR and then there's two set screws in here that once you drop this trigger in, you just put those set screws down and it holds it in place, which is nice. So we're gonna do that for you guys and then we'll show you when it's done. So we got the mil spec trigger out and one more time before we stick it in, here's the Daniel Horner trigger. This thing is pretty. It's a very nice trigger. And all it does is it drops right in there and we push the pins back in and it's quick and easy. Okay guys, we got the trigger in. Look at how nice that looks. That is very clean looking. Um, yeah, safety works fine. It is extremely lightweight. I haven't adjusted it yet. I'm just running it how it came. And uh, I don't have a trigger gauge, so you're just gonna have to trust my opinion on it. But we're gonna put it in the gun and we're gonna see how it runs with uh, whatever factory setting it's on right now. So, but it is extremely light. It feels like under two pounds. We're using American Eagle XM183 for today's ammo, so good ammo, and it runs fine through all my guns, no problem. All right, guys, so this trigger feels insane. It's uh, it's it's definitely light. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just instantly try to do the double taps and triple taps and see how, how well I do and how it runs. Hopefully it's not too windy. I did get a new mic recently, so I'm tired of all the wind in my other videos and uh yeah so far it's been good so i'm excited for this let's see how it runs all right so this is going to be a double tap i'm going to run it on the timer all right let's go wow that's really fast uh 0.46 but the split was 0.17 so definitely a faster split right off the bat um the second shot was a miss because i went right above the target but let me try that again. All right. Dang, those are really fast. Uh, 0.38 with a 0.17 split. My second shot's still a miss. I'm, anytime you do something like this, it's gonna take practice to get accurate with it. Um, I, again, I'm just seeing how fast I can go. And right off the bat, those first two double taps, definitely faster than the last uh, with the stock trigger. So I'm gonna do that again. Double hit, and that was 0.4 with a 0.17 split. So now we're gonna do a three shot group. Yeah. On that one, I, I took my time trying to hit the target. That was a 0.71. I'm just gonna go fast, cause that's what we're going for here. Dang it, that was me. I like stuttered and I was like, oh, wait, we are still shooting. One more time. Ooh, that was three hits and 0.53. So that was a 14 split and then a 0.2 split. I think I'm reading it right. It's saying four, oh, I think I'm reading it wrong. It says 14 and then 19, okay. Okay, that was 0.53 altogether though. I might be reading the splits wrong, but that was, that was 0.53 seconds and those were three hits. I definitely, I hit start. Let's go. Ah, that was 0.67, the first shot was slow. I think the last shot was slow actually. Point five four. That's really nice. Um, it's like a few rounds left. What else should I do? I'm gonna just dump it. I'm gonna just pull the trigger as fast as I can. Feel like I'm still get, I'm getting used to it. I mean, this is my first mag with this trigger, but that trigger is light, and I can get right back on it. And that's 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 really nice. I don't think I'm gonna mess with it right now. I saw other people were making the trigger heavier because it said it's too light. But I don't know, I have triggers that are kind of in between, so I, I like this one right now. 
I'm just going to dump it. I hit start. Come on. All right. Uh, 1.51 seconds for nine shots. Not bad. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to do? We have another trigger we can compare this to. So, fun fact. Timony is an Arizona company. I live here in Arizona. Uh, I like supporting local companies. My buddy Nate here has his V11 with an Elfman trigger, which is also an Arizona company. So, Arizona puts out some good trigger companies. We also have Apex here, and I use an Apex trigger for my Smith & Wesson Shield. So, Arizona has some pretty nice trigger companies, and I like supporting all of them. All right, so this is my buddy Nate's uh, V11, and his is very sick too, I love it. I love the Tornado Gray V11s, they're, they're amazing. Uh, but this is an Elfman trigger, is it showing on there? So this is the Elfman, this is a flat single stage trigger, so different, different trigger concept, still gonna be super lightweight, and I think I'll be able to get fast shots off with this too. Um, this one has anti-walk pins, and yeah, I just want to do like a slight comparison, but they are different styles of triggers. Again, single stage, that one's a two stage, so it has a little bit of take up before the actual break. And this trigger is slightly heavier. This feels like a two and a half or three and a half pound trigger, but I don't have a trigger gauge. So I'm just gonna do a couple uh, one, strings of fire with this just to kind of give it a comparison and see what I feel. So that was 0.43, so a little bit, a little bit uh, longer than the other one. Uh, that was 0.54, so I'm, I'm slower, but again, I'm just, I'm running stuff that this isn't my gun, and I don't have this trigger, so it's going to take some getting used to. Two good hits. That was 0 0.40. I'll do uh, a, a three shot group now. That was good. That was three hits in 0.53 seconds. So then now that was kind of similar to the last trigger. Also three hits and that was 0.62. So a little bit longer on that one. But yeah, I think it's. Uh, they're both very nice triggers, but I just wanted to show one other trigger that's similar. Um, like I said, Timmy sent me that trigger, they're not paying me, but uh, they did give me the trigger for free. But I wanted to kind of give it a comparison against one other Arizona company. But um, yeah, the Timney trigger is definitely lighter. And if and that, going from that to this, this feels like a heavy trigger, but I was just running a seven pound trigger in that gun before. So, all right, we're going to try something. I'm coming for you, Jerry Mitchell. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, that's that's semi-auto trigger. This trigger just makes you that much faster of a shooter. And that was in uh, 2.95 seconds. It only counted 16 shots, though, and there was 18 rounds in there. But that, that little center, I pulled it back too hard, so I had to loosen up just a little bit. But that was semi-auto, and that was pretty fast semi-auto. That was cool. And that was a waste of ammo, but whatever, it's worth it. So that's sick. I'm gonna let my buddy Nate here shoot this so we can see what he thinks. All right, so we got Nate here. He's gonna shoot a couple rounds and tell us what he thinks. Super, super smooth trigger. Uh, I would have to definitely get used to it because I'm like not expecting it to go off and it just kind of goes off um, But really really smooth Yeah, it's light. I think with any, anything like that like it has a purpose right like this gun this trigger is Probably not meant to be like a home defense trigger But I'm not saying you couldn't use it for that. It's it was designed for three guns specifically and I like how light it is, and I think as obnoxious as it's gonna be, I'm gonna put a muzzle brake on this gun just to like complement that trigger. Cause the combination of the two is just gonna make it shoot that much flatter and that much smoother. So, but I love this trigger. I'm gonna shoot a couple more rounds and uh, I think we'll call it a wrap. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a close up of me pulling the trigger. You see the safety works pretty good. 
put it on fire. You see there's take up, but I feel that wall. Like it's not gonna go off unless I apply the pressure. So I'll apply a little bit of pressure, goes off. You can still hear the click. Like it's, it's audible, but it goes by so fast. If you're pulling it fast, you don't really notice it. But so look, play, 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 fire. Play, 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 fire. Like it's not bad. So I'll do a double shot. And yeah, and I, I feel like I'm, I'm doing okay at not letting my finger too far off the trigger. I'm just trying to find that reset and fire again. And it feels solid, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm digging that trigger. Thank you, Timney, for sending it to me. And I look forward to doing more videos on some more of their triggers. All right, thanks for, yeah. All right, thank you guys for watching.